um, Councilman Jackson said we pissed off people. We were kind of famous for that. Um, we, uh, yes, that's called advocacy. Uh, last September, we uh, disrupted Eric DeLon's housing meeting because he has been sitting on the bill for five years. He's waiting for it to hatch. Uh, Kristen Quinn tells him not to calendar, which means schedule it for a meeting in New York. Uh, Ten members of the 15 members of, the, of his committee are co-sponsors. So the bill would come out of committee, go to the full council, with 26 out of 51, it would be voted on, we would have the bill. If she doesn't want it passed, um, I believe Bloomberg doesn't want it passed, because I believe once we do the count, and this is my personal opinion, not the organization's, I believe once we do the count, we'll be able to find a paper trail back to him and his $10 billion he made when he was collecting a dollar a year as mayor, um, and he owns some of those properties. but. In this clip that we tried to find, uh, Robert Jackson said that he could fund the count from his discretionary fund of $14,000. He did the same thing when he wanted to know about school security. So the money is there to do it. The city doesn't want to do it. As far as our actions, uh, as I said, we disrupted the uh, housing meeting in 2000, uh, September 2010. And from that disruption, uh, he spoke to Lynn, our executive director, and this meeting came about. The clip you saw of Mr. Gene Rice and Mr. Genghis Khan, Khalid Muhammad uh, screaming calendar intro 48, we actually shut down a stated city council meeting. So up went the picture of the homeless wanted sign in 250 Broadway and Chamber Street, and when we come in the building, we're watch like we're about to blow it up. So, but as you said, that's advocacy. You do what you have to do to get your voices heard. Uh, we do have clips of Tent City, which is another action, and we have a lovely montage of vacant property in New York City. Maybe you could show them, in the interest of time, show the montage if you can, and Kendall, maybe you could describe, continue, reading, continue yeah. and then maybe describe at the end a little bit of, about the uh, model, model materials that they okay. provided for us today, because they're awesome models if you are not from New York and you are thinking about starting up this initiative in your own neighborhood or your own city. All right, um, of the five ways the uh, community land trust can lease the land, Picture the Homeless is exploring the nonprofit mutual housing association option. Under this option, the community land trust limits rents that can be charged. The MHA can be comp comprised of religious, community, or progressive and or progressive organizations of people who are concerned about the displacement in their communities and the disenfranchisement. New York City has three functioning CLTs, Cooper Square and Rain in the, in the Lower East Side, and the East New York CLT. They have functioned successfully for the two decades and received support from the city's housing programs. Cooper Square CLT leases over 300 units in 22 buildings to the Cooper Square Mutual Housing Association, which is in the process of becoming a limited equity cooperative, which again would still be under the CLT's rule, and the prices would be monitored and resale would be monitored also. Um, the average Cooper Square apartment has been fully renovated and rents to tenants, making less than 40% of the area medium income. We know in New York City that the average New Yorker in the five boroughs makes as much as 17% of the average area medium income. So this is a step towards a providing affordable housing for the population that's now outbidded from affordable housing. This model can be replicated in the areas of the city with the highest density of vacant properties, restoring the community while housing the displaced population. We found um, in the process of putting together our count that Breakfast Stuyvesant has the highest density per square mile of vacant property and is also the population that's entering the shelter system the fastest. The yellow handout you have is a copy of the text of Intro 48, the legislation we wrote. The black and white is a copy of the report that was generated from the 2006 count with uh, Scott Stringer's office, Manhattan Borough President, and the green packet is um, a copy of our training agenda for the count. Um, we go back 
tomorrow. We have a train, two trainings tomorrow and a camp on Saturday. So um, that's our program at the moment. The picture of the homeless in a nutshell. And this is what New York City looks like. All right, Kendall, thank you so much. Um, we are.